Hello everybody. Good morning children. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome to our English classroom. First, let me introduce our textbook. See English textbook that is course book. It contains uh, six units. Each unit has been given a particular title. First uh, unit's title is Glimpses of Greatness. As we all know, this uh, greatness. Greatness uh, means reach top or become successful. Already you have studied the word glimpse. What does this word mean? Okay, look or glance or view. So in this unit uh, we get some of the factors or characteristic features that will lead someone or somebody to reach at top. Winston Churchill's words in the beginning. He said, success is not final. Failure is not fated. It is the courage to continue that counts. See you all know, we all need or require a courage or willpower. If we have this willpower or readiness, we can do anything, we can achieve and fulfill our goal or dream. So this attitude, that is very important. We all studied or heard this saying sometimes attitude determines our altitude. So we have to make this positive attitude towards anything. The success comes. Got it? So this unit just you read about this unit. In your textbook itself, in the beginning, you see about the unit. Here, given these sentences, success is undoubtedly the fruit of perseverance. Perseverance. Hard work. Right. So, no pain, no gain is the same. If you are ready to work hard, once you did your works paying all efforts, surely when success comes, we feel a, a state of situation that is happiness. So we all want to have this situation of happiness. Though we have to work hard. So all lessons that uh, four lessons include in this unit namely a story titled his first flight by Liam of Lerty. then we have I will fly motivational words of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and we have another profile about eminent physicist called Stephen Hawkins, his profile. Then we have a poem titled If. So all these four lessons indirectly giving students these factors that leads someone to greatness. Got it? Now let's begin. Here you know Shakespeare's classifications 
about greatness see his findings there is uh, his words given in your textbook itself you see uh, according to shakespeare some are born great some achieve greatness and some have greatness thrust upon them you we see in our society or in our surrounding some people okay they are born great right we say this way okay they are born great but some they achieve they do hard work okay they work hard and they become great for others the greatness is thrust upon them means it is there with them they uh they start uh, knowing by others so these types of uh, different uh, situations we experience or we observe in the society anyway greatness or becoming successful in our life it requires certain factors now just you think which are the factors in your own or view point which are the factors which uh, uh, help somebody to become successful just in your notebook draw some boxes and in the bubble in your textbook itself this work is given okay greatness so find out which are the factors leading to greatness here given two examples hard work and perseverance see perseverance and hard work actually uh, both are uh, doing uh, this uh, type of uh, work but uh, perseverance means uh, uh, extreme work that means we have to uh, totally involve the requires certain uh, complete dedication anyway for understanding for the sake of understanding these two words right related with the hard work then uh, which are the other factors yes you know for example uh, motivation or inspiration got it then uh, will power etc so this way you have to add some of the uh, factors which uh, lead somebody to become great okay so the, you do this work then in your textbook itself here shown a picture you see uh, this picture is uh, telling something to you in your life situation also you might have experienced now you, just you think about your situation where you got a chance to present something in front of a group an audience so when you uh, yes when you uh, start presenting anything for for the first time in your life situations what type of feeling you had think about it and prepare a write up about it that is what uh, have you had any similar experience if so share it with your friends so in your, in your english notebook you have to prepare your experience what about your first experience when you started or when you wanted to present something in front of a group so your public performance right so we all know sometimes you know we have these types of situations like nervousness or stage fright etc and even we have studied or trained or practiced once we reach uh, on the stage in front of group though we forget and we cannot uh, speak all these things clearly so there we face some issues or problems anyway whatever it may be uh, everybody's uh, life situations these types of uh, issues or examples so just you narrate your own experience when you uh, presented any type of performance in front of uh, a group 
so just you write it got it now in your textbook uh, childhood experience of abraham lincoln abe's first speech that a title that's a title so it is given here just for you to read after reading this uh, incident of uh, abraham lincoln's childhood life we have to find out certain qualities there we find out what are these qualities see abraham lincoln's friend dennis he encouraged he motivated he inspired abraham lincoln right to deliver a few words as a reply to that campaign orator as such abe did young abraham lincoln did so and he was uh, not eased by others so that was the first uh, speech according to uh, abraham lincoln in his life where upon he started realizing that he had this type of skill with him and slowly he became an eminent or a noted personality okay so his friends role here in this way sometimes we are influenced or we get these types of influences or impacts from our fellow people right or friends peer groups so well wishers well wishers also they also help others to become great here also i want to uh, tell you that uh, this in uh, this is a uh, given this is here you know uh, we get the importance of having good uh, friendship good friendship with others so when we have this type of good friendship that is uh, uh, that is having a type of impact in our life got it so try to get this idea after reading this okay then uh, when you uh, completed this uh, uh, apes first speech uh, reading here given some questions all these questions you can answer from the from the passage given here and the last uh, item related with this that you have to discuss actually let me read uh, do you think that everybody has some potential in them some people take the initiative while others do not dare to showcase their talents what do you think are the reasons for this write down what are the reasons see in our society in our uh, surroundings we see some people some people they are not showing their talents in front of others they uh, keep reserved they remain passive why here i would like to quote one of the uh, poets uh, lines see uh, full many a flower is blown to blush and see and waits its uh, sweetness in the wilderness point is very simple we we could see or sometimes we heard that there are number of beautiful flowers blooming out in the forest right actually we are not at all uh, exposed to such situations and we are not having uh, that uh, feeling in the same way here we see number of people in our society they are unnoticed by others they live here why are they living so means what are the situations where people become uh, noticed by others or known by others sometimes lack of opportunities for some we cannot see they uh, they don't have facilities they don't have uh, these types of uh, situations so lack of opportunities are uh, maybe some of the reason for some people they are not uh, showing their talents and here given another reason lack of confidence some people they don't have confidence with them 
they don't realize about them as you heard the story uh, from the victor's uh, classroom that eagle story so we are not uh, having an idea about our own uh, skills so lack of confidence that also another reason for people not showing their talents what are the other reasons according to your uh, point of view so two reasons only you have to mention so in your uh, notebook english notebook you have to uh, just uh, write this two uh, two reasons okay now keeping all these points we have to begin this unit this is the topic that we discussed in our, in our la uh, class last uh, last day okay so basically you should have english textbook and a notebook and this notebook you have to uh, write you have to prepare all the activities related with the lesson so for the sake of uh, students i would like to tell you you have to uh, just uh, use your notebook for uh, enrichment of english language so better you divide your english notebook as uh, the two parts uh, first part that you have to do all your english uh, lessons based activities other side from other side from there you have to uh, just uh, make use of uh, these types of activities like um, word power try to draw columns right and uh, uh, give words new words that you studied from your lessons so if, if uh, the, there is only one word that is enough or sometimes you know you have three or two so such like depending upon your uh, your uh, ability your skill so take any of these words and give these words in this column uh, one column v1 other column v2 and three uh, v3 column also so three columns just you give these words in that side of the notebook and try to learn its meaning and make uh, this word in a new uh, situation that means uh, make a sentence using this word right so v1 v2 v3 that way you make a sentence start practicing so once you have this type of uh, practice indirectly we have this word with us that means the word will be there in our memory so it comes naturally when we start writing our answers or our english you know uh, these words will be there otherwise you know we cannot uh, improve our language so we all study that language we speak with uh, different sentences so depending upon different sentences you know varieties of sentences our language is uh, evaluated so these sentences are framed with a number of words so there should have varieties of words so words having varieties of words that is the base depending upon this again your language will have coloring or impression so every uh, student of this classroom i want to just remind you have this taste of learning number of words word power so for this an activity like that we are doing in our english notebook okay uh, the other side of your notebook you give this uh, uh, practice session okay take uh, uh, these words that you got from your textbook lessons and uh, give these uh, three uh, levels v1 and v2 form and v3 form and have your own sentences with this okay so this way you have to start doing okay i think uh, this is clear to you and uh, uh, we will discuss we will start reading the story and uh, discuss its points in the next class our intera uh, interaction uh, so don't be confused this is the topic only we discuss in our last session okay so try to read the story uh, his first flight from first to last then uh, in our uh, session okay in our interaction session there we will discuss these main points okay that's all for you thank you